below 8 E's, receiving students and teachers. Thank you, you may sit down. All right, 8 E's and receiving students. I reminded you in our previous lesson that we were going to go through the two exercises which we didn't do, or we didn't correct, sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flash the, the correction Okay, on the PowerPoint. So I'd like you to cross-check with your answers, right? So receiving teachers, I'll just show you the correction, okay, the correction, and I'd like you to cross-check with your answers. So the two exercises which we didn't correct in our previous lesson, that was B, okay, the correction or the solution for B, when you wanted to calculate the volume of that cone, your answer would be shown here, okay? So just cross check with your answers, please. If you made a mistake, go back to your, go back to the steps or go back to your calculations. Okay, that's uh, for B. What you're doing now is you're just cross-checking with your answers. You should have done this for your homework, okay? C, okay, that's your answer. We got an answer to this. We rounded it off to two decimal places, okay? So the volume of that cone would be the answer shown. So receiving students, once again, just cross-check with your answers. Okay, so far, atheists and receiving students, we've looked at um, calculate, calculating the formulas of different solids, okay? We've looked at calculating the uh, volume of a, what? A prism, yes. What else? Receiving students? Okay, a pyramid, a cylinder, a cone, very good, okay. So those, are, those were some of the solids. We looked at some of the properties of those different solids up. The similarities and also the differences. Now I'm sure you memorized the formulas, okay, of calculating the volume of those different solids. Receiving students, calculate Calculating the volume of a cuboid. What formula do we use? Okay, can I have Livingston? Here, up in front, I have different solids. Now you come up to the front and show to the class what a cuboid is. So what does a cuboid look like? And you give us the formula for calculating the volume of a cuboid. The volume of calculating a cuboid is area equals to length times width times height. Okay. Um, receiving students, eight is. Did you hear what um, Livingston said? Is there anything wrong with his um, answer? Okay, Livingston said area is equal to length times width times height. 80s? Receiving students? Okay, thank you, Livingston. All right, okay. He, he mentioned um, oh, area, okay? Equals length times width times height. I'm asking for the volume. Receiving students? Is 
is he correct in saying area? Okay. Volume. Receiving students in 80s, 80s. Volume is equal to length times the width times the height. Okay, now you are awake. Thank you, 80s and receiving students. Okay, now let's have, um, can we have, okay, we'll have one from that group, Ella. Okay, Ella, come up to the front, show us a prism. When calculating the volume of a prism, what formula do we use? Okay, receiving students, what formula do you use when calculating the volume of a prism? Volume is equal to area times height. Okay, 80s and uh, receiving students, did you get that? Okay, thank you, Ella. All right, she showed this as an example of a, a prism, okay? And here, what type of prism is this? A triangular prism, okay? You can have a triangular prism, you can have a rectangular prism, all right? The volume is equal to area of that base, okay, times the height. Okay, good, next one. Um, pyramid, can somebody come up to the front and show us the pyramid and give us the formula? Receiving students, please tell the class what is the formula when calculating the volume of a pyramid? Okay, Rachel. Volume equals one third times A times H. Um, when calculating the volume of a pyramid, okay, the volume is equal to um, one third area times height, okay? So here, area of the base, huh? area of the rectangular base or a square base, all right? And because of the, what, apex, we have one third. Okay, good. Now let's have the last one. A cone. Sorry, a cone, and we forgot one, cylinder. All right, a cone, please, quickly, class. Jeremy. Okay, Jeremy, thank you. Volume equals one third. Volume equals one third pi r square pi. Okay, thank you, um, Jeremy. All right. The volume of a cone class is one third because of the apex. All right. Yes, one third pi r squared. Pi r squared is the Receiving students, 80s. Pi r squared is the? Radius. Base. I'm showing you something here. Base. What about the base? What's pi r squared? 80s, receiving students. Can we have someone to give us an answer? What is pi r squared? Okay, you said the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. Okay, yes, pi r squared. But can you explain what is pi r squared? You're only saying pi r squared, then what is it? If you look at the cone, receiving students, 80s. Come on, we're not thinking. Pi r squared is the? <laughs> OK, 
Okay, you are saying base, base. Can you look at the other, the other solids? You have the formula there. Volume is equal to area times H. Okay, what about the cone? Volume is equal to one third pi r squared. Pi r squared is the area of the circle. The area of the circle. Yes? Area of the circular base. Area of the circle is pi r squared. Okay? So you can only say base, but you must know what base. Area of the circle is pi r squared. And the last one, we forgot, a cylinder. What is the formula when calculating the volume of a cylinder? Receiving students? Joseph, what's the volume? Area equals, er, volume equals area times height, where area equals pi r squared. Okay, good. Thank you, Joseph. So volume of a cylinder, all right, is equal to um, area of a circle, or yeah, area of the circular base times height, where A is equal to pi r squared. Okay, thank you, ATs and receiving students for giving us the uh, formulas of those different solids. Now in today's lesson, we are going to be looking at application of volume. And if you look at the activity, we'll be mainly looking at the formula which is volume is equal to AH. But in your own time, uh, receiving teachers, you can give your class, or give your students more activities on the different uh, formulas of uh, calculating different uh, solids. Okay. All right. Class 80s and receiving students, up here. Okay, I have um, two cylinders, uh, receiving students. In 80s, I have two cylinders, okay? One small cylinder and one big one, okay, let's say. These two solids join together, all right? Join together, it's known as a, a compound solid, okay? It's one shape, one whole shape. Now, I want to find the volume of this solid, what am I going to do? How am I going to calculate the volume of this compound solid? Receiving students, can you tell the class, please? Do you have any ideas of how you can calculate the volume of this compound solid? There are two, okay, two but joined to one. Okay, let's have Rachel. She wants to give a try. First, you have to add a small cylinder first and then big one and calculate them. Okay, thank you, Rachel. Receiving students? Okay, Rachel, her idea is that we add the small cylinder first and then the big cylinder. Okay. Thank you, Rachel. What about you others? What do you think? <laughs> okay, Ella. Okay. First, you have to multiply the area of the big one and the height of the big one. Then you get the answer and multiply with the height of the small cylinder with the area of the small cylinder and you get the final answer and write it down. Okay, so you get the final answer and? Write it down. Okay, thank you, Ella. All right, that's her idea, uh, receiving students and eight is. Okay, here she's saying you're going to multiply, okay, the area of the big cylinder and the area of the small cylinder. Okay. All right. Okay, let's have uh, one more. 
Okay, we'll have this group here, Dinah's group. Okay, we'll have Dinah. First, you have to find the volume of the small cylinder using the formula. Volume equals AH, and then you find the b second big one, that's the volume B. Then you add the total up and get the final answer. Okay. Thank you, Diana. Did you others um, have the same idea as what Diana had receiving students? Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, what Diana said was firstly, we have to, because there are cylinders, huh? there are two cylinders, and we use the formula volume is equal to A H, where A is equal to pi r squared. Huh? So, because there are two cylinders, firstly, find the volume of the small one first, calculate the volume of the small one, and then calculate the volume of the big one. And then, what do you do? The final step, you add the total. Okay, you add the total and you come up with your final answer. And you get the volume of the compound solid. Okay, 80s and receiving students. Likewise with other solids, okay. If two cuboids are joined together, you also do the same. Calculate the volume of that first cuboid, calculate the volume of the second cuboid, and then you add the total. Okay, good. Now we're go you're going to do that um, exercise number one. Okay, calculate the volume of this solid receiving students. Okay. Um, A, where you're going to calculate the volume of this compound solid, you have the small uh, cylinder and the big cylinder. So, we're going to do it this way. Uh, what are we going to do first? Receiving students and 80s. Okay, we'll calculate the volume of the small cylinder and then calculate the volume of the big cylinder. Okay, so here, this group, I want you to calculate the volume of the small cylinder and this group here, you calculate the volume of the big cylinder. Okay, and then we add the total. So can you do that now, please? Receiving students, this is what we're going to do. Um, I'd like you to calculate, can you, um, in groups, okay, calculate the volume of the small cylinder first, calculate the volume of the big cylinder, and then we come up with our answer. So quickly, can we do that? Okay, remember using the formula, volume is equal to AH, where area is equal to pi r squared. Okay, have we finished? Okay, some fast workers. Okay, those of you calculating the volume of the small cylinder, don't forget this is the diameter, three centimeter is the diameter. Those of you here, nine centimeter is the diameter. Okay, don't forget pi r squared. Okay, finish. Okay, um. okay, who's finished with the from this group here? Receiving students, if you have finished, you can go up to the front, go up to the board and write your answer. Okay. Finish with the big cylinder.
All right. Let's see. Okay, let's just cross-check with our answers, okay? 80s and receiving students. Okay, firstly, we want to calculate um, the volume of this the small cylinder, okay? Where three centimeter is the diameter and five centimeter is the height. So when you're using the formula, volume is equal to AH, okay? equals pi r squared times the height. All right, pi 3.14 times 1.5. Why 1.5? 1 okay, 1.5, okay, is the radius, all right? One half of three centimeters. Receiving students? Because three, is, the diameter is three, but you have to get the radius, half of um, 3. So 1.5 times 1.5 times the height, 5, which is equal to 35.3 cubic centimeters. The volume of the small cylinder is 35.3 cubic centimeters. Okay? This group, did you get that? Did you get your answer? It's 35.3? Okay, you made a mistake somewhere there. Okay, maybe because of the radius, huh? Okay, so take note of that. That's the volume of the, what, small cylinder. Okay, let's see if you have also, all right, the volume of the big cylinder class, volume is equal to AH, where A is equal to pi r squared, pi r squared times height, 3.14 times 4.5. Why 4.5? Half of nine. Diameter is nine, but you have to get the radius, which is 4.5. Okay, receiving students, uh, receiving students and 80s. So 4.5 times 4.5 times the height, which is four. And that's how we got 254. 0.34 cubic centimeters. Did any one of you get it right? Okay, only one. Yeah? Okay, the volume of the big cylinder is 254.3 cubic centimeters. Okay, so what is the total now? Quickly, class, you can do that quickly. What is the total um, volume of that compound solid? What are you going to do? You are going to add the volume of the small cylinder and the volume of the big cylinder. Okay, 254.3 plus 35.3. And what's our answer? Okay. Class, did you get that, receiving students? Okay, the total is 289.6 cubic centimeters. Some of you are saying yes. Okay, good. 289.6 cubic centimeters. So now, you know how to work out the volume of any solids that are joined together. Firstly, like I said, calculate the volume of the first, break it up, separate it, volume of the first, uh, first um, solid, and then the other solid, and then you add the total. Okay, this is, I think this is an easy one for you. Here. Okay, find the volume of this compound solid. All measurements are in centimeters. But this, is, you have two, what? two cuboids joined together, okay? Two cuboids joined together. Can you calculate the volume of this compound solid? Okay, don't forget, receiving students, the volume is what? 
volume of a cuboid, length times width times height, okay? So you have two. One, firstly, you have one, and the other second one. So you should know what to do. Calculate the volume of the first one, first cuboid, and then calculate the volume of the small one, or the other one, then you add the total. To, to make it fast, you can divide yourselves. One can, uh, two students can calculate the volume of the one cuboid. The, uh, the other two or the other three can calculate the volume of the other cuboid to get your answer quickly, and then you add your, you come up with the total. Okay, anyone finished? Okay, good. Some students have finished.
that's the total. One four cubic. That's the total um, volume of that compound. Solid. Okay, good. I think we finished class um, 80s and receiving students. So we can come up with our answer now. Okay, let's calculate the volume of this um, cuboid. Okay, the volume of this cuboid, firstly, volume is equal to length times width times height. Okay, the length is, okay, seven centimeters. The width is five and the height is three. So what's, your, what's the volume? One hundred and one hundred and five cubic centimeters. One hundred and five cubic centimeters. Okay, then the volume of the second one. Okay, length times width times height. Three times two times six. Three times two is six. Times six is. 36 cubic centimeters, 36 cubic centimeters, okay, receiving students, and then get the total volume, what's our answer? Okay, your answer should be 100 and 141 cubic centimeters. That's the volume of this compound solid. Okay, 80s and receiving students. So if you have any solids, any two solids joined together, right, as a compound solid, okay, make sure you follow the steps. Firstly, you calculate the volume of one solid first and then the volume of the other solid it can be two or three shapes together. But you use the formula to calculate each of those solids. Okay, we'll stop here, 80s and receiving students. Uh, receiving teachers, in our next lesson, we're going to look at a new sub-strand. And it's, it's on capacity, okay? So, our next lesson will be, the next lesson's topic will be on understanding capacity. And today's key phrase is an application of volume. Okay, receiving teachers, um, if you can have some more additional activities for your students based on the different types of uh, formulas. Okay, thank you, 8Es and receiving students and teachers for your participation in today's lesson.